So I've been training some RVC AI voice models for the past 24 hours because one of my community members suggested that there is a better way to train RVC models. And um, this way is by not splitting the data set and just feeding in the long vocal file into RVC uh, so that RVC can do all the pre-processing on it. So for me, that's actually pretty good because then you don't have to use the compute for splitting the data set. And yeah, let's jump into it. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the data set before it was separated. And then we'll go ahead and take a listen to the data set of one where I did separate the vocals. Um, it's not going to be a one to one comparison, unfortunately, because they were different videos that I crafted the data set from. For the most part, it is the same voice. So let's just go ahead and run through it. So here we have the Marin unseparated voice. We're going to do 16 transpose. Here's the audio file. And all of this is going to stay the same. We're going to let it do auto detect for index and go ahead and convert it. And so I'm going to do the same thing for the other voice that I had trained and I'm going to play them 10 seconds apart. So the first one is going to be the unseparated data set and the second one is going to be the separated data set. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, you told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, you told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. And so here we go. We have a um, we've got a training graph right here where if I go ahead and set my smoothing down to absolute maximum, you can see this is the training graph for the newer method that was proposed. And so this is pretty standard. I still have to run a training session where I do all of the audio splitting and audio separation with the whisper script that I made. But I'm thinking this is probably going to be the better method. So the method that I was showing before was feeding the audio file into a whisper script so that you could get a transcription and then cutting the audio file based on those transcriptions. Um, this this works really well to separate audio sentences so that you have so that you have snippets of just the audio from the speaker. However, RVC does its own pre-processing, so this causes an issue when the audio files that you split are a little bit too short or there are certain parts that have silence inside of the audio where RVC is going to split that and try to use it as a data set. So what do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. All right, so here's one of my folders with the split data set with the whisper script that I did. And if we go ahead and take a look at the um, zero folder uh, for the pre-processing step, you can see that there are a lot of these small audio files. And let's go ahead and take a listen to some of them real quick. What? As you can tell, they are just short little snippets that don't really do anything and don't really mean anything yet. Yet those are being considered for training. But if we go over into this unseparated one where um, the audio was not split beforehand, we go ahead and take a look at the smallest audio files. We do have some that are around 100. So let's go ahead and take a listen to some of these. <laughs> So a little bit better, they're actually pronounceable words and they actually have some content to them. So these are a little bit more useful than the other ones that were from that split data set. Now, one thing that I don't know for sure is if it is data set specific or or not. So these two Marian voices are trained on different data. So I have yet to run the split one, which is what I'm going to do today. If the model that comes out of the split one is the same or a little bit worse than the one that you train without having to split anything, I think it's a better use of time to just forego my whisper script instead because then you don't need to use the compute to split up that data set. So for some closing thoughts of this video, if the voice that comes out of the RVC model is better without splitting the data set, it 100% is better to train RVC by not splitting the data set beforehand with whisper. The split data set has yet to be run, so I'm going to run the 500 epochs on that today and do a little bit of a comparison later this week on those but there are still many different cases in which you do want to split the data set and that is if you have multiple speakers in an audio file you want to run speaker diarization on that so that you can separate those out and split those out um, with speaker diarization you can then take all of those audio samples and then combine them into one large data set however with them already split i think in that case it would be better to just train on the split data as 
the original flow and then would have been ruined already by splitting them with the whisper script. And then the other case is if you want to manually remove some parts of the training data set, um, you would still want to be able to split it and then maybe merge it in the end. However, I think, you know, if you split a data set and then re-merge it, you could get snippets where it's cut off perhaps and create choppy audio. So in that case, I think it's just better to run it with the split data set. But we'll see based on the training of the model that I do today. But that's going to be today's video. Don't forget to follow and like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys later.